Oh, no way. No. Please, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Hey everyone, what's up? It's me again. All right, today I want to take it easy. So we are going to react to four female content creators and we'll see what makes them so successful or unsuccessful in some cases or sometimes even unwatchable. These four female content creators are in different niches. One of them I have been following since I started my YouTube channel. One of them I have followed closely and saw how she grew to a million subscribers. One of them I absolutely love and one of them is just downright wrong in so many ways. So what we're going to do here is we will watch the first 30 seconds or so of the video from each channel that is the most popular and then I will do research in my own spare time to give you my final thoughts on the channel. The first one is Ruri Ohama. As you can probably tell from my accent and from my grammar mistakes, I'm not a native English speaker. I became fluent in English by watching YouTube videos and practicing by myself. And I always get comments like, I can understand you, but I cannot talk like you. So today, I'm gonna explain you why you can understand English, but cannot talk fluently or cannot express yourself very well. And I'm gonna also explain how you can fix that. So let's get started. Now, I'm a big fan of Ali Abdal, mainly because of his work ethic, his attitude, and his responsibility towards his own YouTube channel. And Ruri Ohama reminds me of him. They are both coincidentally in the medical field, and they are both covering productivity niches. What I really enjoy seeing is how she sort of shows her gradual progress to her million subscribers. She started her YouTube journey back in around 2016, 2017, and she only hit 1,000 subscribers on February 18, 2021. I think I hit 1,000 subscribers around March 2021. So technically, me and her, we were on the same pace at one point. The only difference here is I have been left behind in the race. So anyways, almost a year and a half later, on July 29, 2022, she hit 500,000 subscribers. And then, just 11 months later, she got to 1 million subscribers. Now, you might think that her channel grew so quickly because of her good looks and she is a female which I am unable to verify if that is true, I have no proof. But what impresses me is, while it may look like she experienced sudden growth in a short period of time, I think she actually deserves all the success she got. She has been on YouTube far longer than me, so how she got to where she is is because of all the experience and knowledge she got over the years. It is just not obvious to many because people are usually quite oblivious to all the effort and time put in to turn something into a success, just because those things happen behind the scenes. In one of her videos, she did show that she has a method to research what thumbnail works, what title works, and what top Topic works. This sort of research ability isn't something you can gain just by starting a new channel. It takes experience and practice. Now I know she is quite well off to begin with, which she did mention in one of her videos, and it is an advantage and a privilege she has had since birth. However, I don't think it is enough to take away all the effort she put in into growing her YouTube channel. It is not like she chose to be born in that environment. If you want to learn something from her, check out her channel and try to follow how her video style changes, how her thumbnail changes, and how her title changes. I think that's where the true value is if you want to emulate her success. Okay, next one, Tapioca Press, and this is her most viewed video. Good morning. So, six months ago, I quit my job as a program manager at Amazon. So I thought it's about time to give you an update on what life is like without a job. If you're new here, my name <sighs> What? All right, next one is Life of Riza, and this is her most viewed video. They say that happiness is pretty simple. Someone to love, something to do, something to look forward to. I just wish they had been more specific. Wow, just 
wow. I actually ended up watching the entire video because I got absorbed into her storytelling. You know, this is what I'm talking about, right? Carissa is so great and watching her videos makes me want to go out there and do something and live. And this is the type of content I find fascinating. Females don't always have to be revealing to get views. They have immeasurable untapped talent that is just waiting to blossom for everyone to see. The other thing I want to point out is that video only took off two to three years later. So that means a video this good is not discoverable until two to three years later. So if we are still complaining why YouTube isn't pushing our videos, maybe we should self-reflect a little here. And you know what? Because Carissa is very consistent with her content style, her viral video ended up bringing a lot of new viewers who are eager to see what Carissa can do. And you can probably see her recent videos have all hit hundreds of thousands of views. That's how you grow a YouTube channel. But the most important point of all has to be that Carissa just enjoys filmmaking and she is so, so good at storytelling. Everything from the tone of her voice to the flow of the video to the transitions, it's beautiful. I wish I have more to say about her, but I really don't. All I can say for now is I'm a big fan of her work and she has inspired me to create a video similar to her. That's how good she is. My words will not do her justice. So be sure to check out her channel, link down in the description below. Okay, the last one, psych to go this is a channel that I have been following since I started my YouTube channel. Why does it seem like you spend most of your time in bed, lying down and not doing much lately? Are you someone who easily gets tired and doesn't feel like doing anything? Do you label this kind of behavior as mere laziness and nothing more? There's actually a lot of overlap between laziness and burnout that can make it difficult to differentiate between the two. Burnout is a negative state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by excessive stress and inability to cope with it. Ah, that's very nice, isn't it? Psych2Go is the only faceless channel I follow because her content is packed with value. The focus of her channel is mainly to raise mental awareness to show how serious it can be if taken lightly. One thing I find fascinating is how diverse the topics are on her channel and how frequent she uploads. I mean, just take a look at them yourself. She can upload a few videos in a day and they are all very well done. She probably has her videos all planned out and she definitely has a team behind this. Otherwise, I think it is impossible for one person to do all of this. But what I am unsure sure of is how on earth does she come up with so many topics? This is just insane. If she keeps pumping out content like this and maintains the level of quality as well, she's bound to have videos go viral or hit it big. A great title, a great thumbnail, a great video, and pumping out content so frequently is just a recipe for success. She creates opportunities to go viral rather than waiting for YouTube to do its magic. The only thing I'm not sure of is if the voice behind these videos is actually the owner of the channel or is it a paid actor. But regardless, I think she is doing a fantastic job. Her voice is soothing and it really sets the mood for the videos. I might be biased here, but having a female voice for these kinds of videos just feels so right. If I were to do videos like that, I'll probably scare the heck out of everyone. Anyways, having good looks is one thing, but I reckon the value given by content creators far outweighs any looks. It doesn't matter if you're a female or a male. As long as the content creator can deliver value to their viewers, I believe viewers will appreciate that and channels can grow faster that way. Using cheap tactics like recording your video in a shower or something, it makes me respect them less simply because they did not respect themselves in the first place. I mean, you can record in the shower if you are, I don't know, doing only fans video or something. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.